Hi everyone, my name is David Zakos, broker and one of the owners of Zakos Realty and Design. And today I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about a Nokomis neighborhood called Sorrento East. You know, a few weeks ago I provided a brief overview of the coastal community of Laurel Nokomis. This town is south of Sarasota, north of Venice, and it's a great option if you're looking for a home on the Gulf Coast. Um, you want to try to find an affordable home. They've got two beaches minutes away, intercoastal waterway, marinas, boat ramp, all direct access to the Gulf uh, to enjoy that Florida lifestyle. So Reno East is located just south of Oscar Shear Park. It's east of US 41. It's west of I-75 and it's north of Laurel Road. It is a deed restricted community. There's about 750 homes in the community, both villas and standalone single family homes. Most of the villas are on the smaller side and they're located uh, primarily on the northwest quadrant of the neighborhood. Uh, they range in size from about 1100 to 1500 and currently they're selling in the low to high 200,000s. So great option, great location for a villa if you're looking for that. These are mainly are single level villas, although there are some um, two and three story villas. Um, single family homes uh, are on all at least about a quarter acre, some of them larger. So the great thing about that is you've got a little bit of privacy. You're not on that postage stamp that many of these new communities are in. You have a sense of community. The homes are well maintained. You do have an HOA, but it's very minimal. I think it's 7,500 bucks for the whole year. But the good thing about that is it keeps all the neighborhood conforming. So you do have restrictions. Um, you can't park your cars on the lawn. You can't uh, let your grass grow up over, over your knees. So everybody keeps up with their houses. It's not overbearing by any means. It's a great neighborhood. I would live in this neighborhood. I have a lot of people that I know have either lived in there, sold in there. Um, they do have restrictions on the height of fences. You can only have four foot height. You can't park an RV for extended periods of time. Minimal restrictions, but not overbearing. The, the neighborhood was originally developed in the 1970s. It's got some older homes and some older feature homes. The single family homes, they range in size from the smallest ones in the neighborhood are about two twos, 1500 square feet or so. And then recently a home sold for about 630, 650, which is a four bedroom home at almost 3000 square feet. Some of the homes in this community will need renovation since they're older and they may have had an older client in there. So they may need to take a little bit of TLC to get them up to speed. And there's other homes that people have bought and renovated. So they look almost brand new and they're in great location. Hey, so let's talk real quick about pros and cons to Rento East. Pros, very affordable, not in Sarasota, yet very close to Sarasota. You can be in Sarasota in five to 10 minutes. Proximity to the beach, only three to four miles boat ramp, marinas, intercoastal waterway, all within minutes. Another pro is that there's no waterfront homes in Sorrento East, but right across Highway 41, Sorrento Shores, there's a boat basin. And because you live in Sorrento East, you have the opportunity to purchase a spot in the boat basin. That's a first come, first serve or on the wait list. And when something comes up, it gives you that opportunity. If there's a, a boat dock available, there's 40, two different slips on a first come first serve or wait list if there's nothing available you can actually buy into that boat basin and have a boat uh, slip of your own in Sorrento East you just have to drive across the highway about a mile away and then you have your own boat dock that's an option for this community a couple others there's actually two really great restaurants right out front of the neighborhood walking distance Rosebuds, Mama Leone's, excellent restaurants. Uh, you've got shopping real close, you've got dining close, you've got the Legacy Trail really close. Deed restricted community, all the homes are going to be taken care of. You're not going to have to worry about that. Legacy Trail is just a few miles away. Cons, you're east of 41. If you did want to ride your bike to the beach, which you can easily do, you do have to cross 41, which can be a little bit busy. Uh, some of the homes may be close to 41, so you may hear a little bit of a highway noise back into the development a little bit further, you're not going to hear any of that. Since it's an older community, some of the homes will have outdated uh, roofs, outdated windows and doors. They may have lower ceilings, uh, may have outdated baths and kitchens. So you may find a home that needs a little TLC. You may have to spend a little money if you find an outdated home there. But where else can you find a home this close to the beach at this price point in Sarasota County? 
So I overall love the location. I truly believe the pros outweigh the cons. In my opinion, Nokomis is underrated. And um, right now there's currently five homes for sale in this neighborhood, all under 450,000. If you have any questions about Sorrento East, homes in Sorrento East, uh, any of the other Sorrento neighborhoods or any of our service area, please feel free to reach out. I appreciate you watching and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. All right, take care.